Everyone says invest your money, and that's great. You should invest your money, but where do you actually invest your money? How's it gonna grow? What are the different ways it can grow? What types of accounts do I need to start? Today I'm gonna explain the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA, and hopefully give you a clear vision of which one is best for you, because there definitely is one that I think is the best by far. Hey everyone, welcome back to Gym Class Finance. Today we're diving into a topic that is really crucial or critical for your retirement plans. What's the difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA? Let's break it down. First, let's define what IRA stands for. IRA means individual retirement account. Both Roth and traditional IRAs offer tax advantages, but in different ways. Let's start with the traditional IRA. Contributions to a traditional IRA are typically tax deductible. This means you can reduce your taxable income for the year you make the contribution. The money then grows tax deferred, which means you don't pay taxes on the earnings until you withdraw them in your retirement. For example, if you earn $50,000 a year and contribute 5,000 to a traditional IRA, you may be only taxed on the 45,000 of income for that year. However, when you withdraw the money during retirement, you'll pay taxes on both the contributions and the earnings at your ordinary income tax rate. So with the traditional, you won't be taxed for the money that you contribute at the time that you contribute it. But when it comes to the retirement time, you're then going to be taxed on that 5,000 plus any growth from it. Now let's talk about the Roth IRA. Contributions to a Roth IRA are made with after-tax dollars, meaning you don't get a tax deduction up front. However, the big advantage is that your money grows tax-free and you can withdraw your contributions and earnings tax-free in retirement. So for this example, let's say you also earn $50,000 a year and contribute $5,000 to a Roth IRA. You'll still be taxed on the full $50,000 for that year, but when you retire and start taking money out, you won't owe any taxes on those withdrawals as long as you meet the qualifying conditions. So to sum that up with a Roth IRA, if I make $50,000 that year and I contribute 5,000, I will be taxed on that 5,000 for the year that I earned the money. But when it comes to retirement, I will not have any taxes to pay on that 5,000 or any growth from it. So which one is right for you? Now this often depends on your current tax rate and your expected tax rate in your retirement. If you're in a lower tax bracket now and expect to be in a higher one in retirement, a Roth IRA might be the better choice. On the other hand, if you're a high tax bracket now and expect to be in a lower one in your retirement, a traditional IRA might save you more money. I believe that examples are always important to understand things. so. Let's take a look at some specific examples showing you this. Example one, Sarah is 30 years old, currently in a 22% tax bracket. She expects her tax rate to be higher in retirement. Sarah might prefer a Roth IRA as she can lock in her current tax rate and enjoy tax-free withdrawals later. Example two, John is 55 years old in a 32% tax bracket. He plans to retire in a few years and expects his rate to drop to 24%. John might benefit more from a traditional IRA taking advantage of the current tax deduction. Remember, the best choice fully depends on your individual financial situation and your retirement goals. It's often a good idea to consult with a financial advisor because they're gonna help you determine the best strategy for you. I know a ton of them, I know a ton of quality ones, so definitely leave me a comment or let me know if you wanna get in touch with a good financial advisor. So there you have it, the differences between a traditional and a Roth. And as I mentioned, I am a much bigger proponent of the Roth IRA because I know that that tax-free growth over the next, well, let's say 30 years, 25 years from now, is gonna be massive, and I don't want a big tax bill in retirement. Now, if you did find this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Smash that like button, it really does help us out. Subscribe to Gym Class Finance, hit that little bell so you get notifications every time we release a video. Definitely drop your comments or questions below, and we'll see you in the next video.